Well, we have a brand new series here on Sunrise, and it's all about celebrating those who serve our nation and our communities. In Portland's Hawthorne District, you may have seen American flags pop up along the curb. There were some out there on Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. Well, we wanted to know how this tradition started and who's behind it. KGW's Pat Doris joins us in the studio. Now, Pat, those questions took you to a bakery. Right, kind of not where I expected, but I got a tip from someone who it turns out knew exactly what they were talking about. The bakery is owned by a woman who loves the American flag and played a key role in starting the tradition of posting all those flags. Seven times a year, American flags stand over the curb along Hawthorne Boulevard in Southeast Portland. In this eccentric neighborhood, the flags stand out, almost a nod to another time, which in part, they are. I have around 250 flags because I collect flags. <laughs> Iva Elmer founded the famed bakery Jakaiva's with her husband Jack nearly 32 years ago. And I just love flags. Her enchantment with the American yeah, flag and it's quite old. stretches back uh, to her early 1912, teens. 1912, I believe. Or... She was 13 years old. <laughs> I lived out in Beaverton and with my aunt and she gave me a flag and I just loved it, you know. I loved the colors and everything. And When she and Jack opened the bakery on Hawthorne, they joined the local Lions Club. At one club meeting, talk turned to the American flag and someone suggested getting Hawthorne designated the Boulevard of Flags. It was just to show our flag because we were proud of our flag. The city approved the plan. Holes were drilled flags bought, and a new tradition began. Although there were a few rough patches. They were wound them up and they used them as, and it ended up on the roofs of buildings. Through the years, Iva's love of the flag grew and her collection grew too. This one is printed on the fabric. See, it's printed this way. This one is sewed into different. So they're all different. They're different, but they're the same sort of like her gorgeous wedding cakes and chocolate goodies. Some chocolate turkeys. Different, but the same, delighting the taste buds. Sort of like Americans. Yeah, we're all important. Every person in this country is important, you know, and sometimes we forget that. We don't think someone's important, but they are. Of all her flags, this one holds the most personal meaning for Iva. This is one of my favorite flags, the flag that was on my nephew's casket. So it's one of my favorites in my collection. Her nephew, Ricky Palmer, died from a brain tumor as he was flying home one year. It was a great loss to us. He was a real fine young man. Some flags hold more than stars. Yes. I would not take that one out. Uh, that was folded and it's going to stay folded. Originally, it was Iva and local business owners coordinating the display for every holiday. Now, it's a new generation, which is why early in the morning you'll see the Boy Scouts placing the flags up and down the boulevard. Iva's enchantment with flags has never wavered. Just love to look at them. I just think they're beautiful, you know. And so, if I find another one, I will collect it. <laughs> and when she sees the yes. flags going up on Hawthorne Boulevard, we're very lucky to live here. She yes. is grateful. A tradition more than 30 years old continues. It means I am an American, and it means that freedom for people and a country that is good. That is so interesting to hear the backstory. I've been to Jakaiva's many times over the years. So we saw them up for Veterans Day. When mm -hmm. will the next time they'll be flying? It's coming up for MLK. So they're up seven times a year, and MLK's birthday is January 15th, so you'll see them pop up again. So if they get damaged, maybe in the weather, what happens then? Does somebody replace them? Yes, it used to be the Jakaiva's paid for them. Now it's the Hawthorne Business District, and they're looking for other sponsors to come in and help with that as well. Okay. Well, you know, that is a small, quiet way to serve, but it's yeah. a good one. I hope other yeah, people step up. Up. Pat, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. And if you know someone who'd like to be featured on this particular segment, you can email mykgw at kgw.com. Pat, thanks for being here.